Aero Contractors last week shut down its flight operations over a challenging environment. The development came just two months after airline denied uh, a report on a planned shutdown of business over the cost of operations in Nigeria's aviation markets. Similarly, Dana Air has also been uh, suspended indefinitely by the regulator, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, for audits amid financial struggles and recurrent flight incidents. This has reduced the number of commercial airlines operating in the nation's aviation sector to eight from 10 in the last one week. Secretary Aviation Roundtable Olumide Ohunayo joins us now virtually from Lagos for a discussion on this development. Mr. Ohunayo, good morning and thank you for joining us on Daybreak today. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Right. Uh, can you please give us uh, an update of what is happening in the aviation sector? as of this moment? Well, you have, you have uh, aptly captured, captured the, the story. Uh, to... Started, uh, the different this time around is that they're putting that increment on the uh, on the coil and they, they, they actually captured it quite a charge. So uh, they, uh, they're asking the government not to also tax that uh, that charge uh, because if they tax it, it will also make the money above overall uh, fare to increase. So the, um, and the, that price is now in the market, and because of the two airlines that are out. There's been this and the, the lack of fuel because most some, some flights are now delayed and cancelled due to the first scarcity. There's been an upsurge of passengers at the airport, and um, with the flight cancellation, airports have been uh, the major airport that that, that was the, the deadline at the major airport at the moment. Um, people coming in, trying to scramble to get on the next go for their refund from the other two or the, so from the two carriers that grounded. So all this has made the airport a bit busy and rowdy. Okay, uh, the issue of uh, you know flight delays and cancellation has been uh, you know wasn't in the past uh, few days, and uh, only yesterday your organization issued a statement uh, you know uh, asking that it be allowed to uh, probe what is really happening in the area. How do you inter what are the issues that you intend to cover, or what are the things that you think is happening? <laughs> Well, um, there, it's no, it's no more hidden. Uh, there's this, there's this first scarcity, uh, the, the, high, the, the high and fuel price. That is the one that is killing the industry at the moment. Um, we don't produce, we don't, uh, we, we don't refine. Uh, we only take our crude oil out, and um, we are the mercy of uh, those who refine. And, and due to this purely in the, uh, the rate of exchange to our naira. It has also affected the price and uh, made the price, uh, the price to gallop. Uh, we started the year at 119 naira per liter. Now we're looking close to about 800, 820 per liter. And uh, for, air, for an one hour flight, when you, have, when you need about 40,000 liters, you, you just you put that amount together and see how any, any of the airlines can break even. So what we intend to do is that rather than continue to issue statements and uh, criticize now we want to see how we can engage the government and the operators on how to address this lingering fuel problem if the, because right now they it's not within the government's purview to do it alone uh, the the, the it, it's a worldwide thing and then um, nigeria is not uh, the only uh, one suffering from the high um, high fuel price but we can go, what we can the government can help if we look at maybe the taxes the charges that are, that are in place, both at the ports, uh, then the NPC and, and the airport authority itself, if these taxes can be waived temporarily to reduce that cost of uh, fuel. We are not asking for subsidies for the for the aviation uh, fuel sector, the aviation fuel. We are not asking for subsidies. We don't even want to join the problem of something with what is happening with the petroleum industry, uh, with the uh, PMS, I mean. So we, we that's, that, that's an area we are looking at. We also want to find out what how uh, Dana can um, successfully go through the audit process uh, that has been um, carried out by the regulator 
and return back to the system uh, to join others. Uh, for for uh, for Aero, uh, I think um, that decision we applaud the decision of the Aero management. Um, it is better to cut off the arm, the leprous arm, than to have the whole body enmeshed in uh, leprosy. And uh, that's what they have done. They have stopped all scheduled operations, but they, they still have their non-scheduled op uh, operations um, going on. They have the helicopter, they have the training, and the uh, M uh, MRO, MRO is the maintenance um, arm. So all those other arms are working perfectly and um, doing well. Uh, but, the, but, but the leprous one is the scheduled, the scheduled services, and that has been cut off. And I think uh, we respect that decision. They've been, they've been struggling. Uh, for a long time, even with, even with the with the with the adoption by Amcon, yet they could not um, go through the scheduled service operation. There's not been profitable, and I think it's it, 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 there comes a time when you say no, I can't take this any further any, anymore. And I think that's just what we have done to support that decision, air, air contractors. Okay, now if more you know airlines uh, you know continue to shut down, the rate of unemployment in Nigeria will definitely you know uh, skyrocket. And we're actually seeing here that you know aviation workers are even planning on joining the ASU solidarity protest. You know uh, what what will this mean for Nigeria? Well, uh, for every any country, for all, all countries, sorry, for all countries around the world, uh, aviation is the is the tonic, is the engine of the economy. So we must do everything to keep our airlines um, uh, flying uh, and flying safely, uh, uh, most importantly, uh, because it's when it is safe that more people could, would use it and um, uh, and it will help the economy. Unfortunately, we we are in a by all the all other modes of transportation have failed us by virtue of security. So the little left of people to move now is air transportation. So the government must do everything, must do everything to keep our airlines flying. Yes, sadly, we, we have lost uh, jobs with the airlines that are uh, going down. And um, it's also, it's also to, uh, not worry that airlines are also applying to start. We expect um, value jet to join the team uh, the any minute from now. And uh, that maybe that will help to put more capacity in the market and help with the galloping ticket fare. Uh, because right now we, we have capacity shortage, and I think uh, we, need to, we need to increase that uh, to uh, allow uh, Nigerians fly and um, in, in comfort and uh, in comfort and with, uh, with comfortable fares. On the issue of the juniors uh, joining the ASU strike, uh, I, 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 I would advise them to shelve that um, that uh, that action. Uh, I don't think it's timely. I don't think it's right. Uh, we we already need distress uh, uh, in the industry. I don't think we can afford to have another strike at this moment to further compound the solid states of the of the of the of the industry. So we we need we need uh, uh, unions to look at that, take a look at that issue once more, and uh, see how that can be shared that uh, affecting the passengers. Moreover, we, like I said, being the only mode of transportation left for people to travel now safely, uh, we don't must must not do anything to shut it down. Uh, Bring peace to Nigerians uh, with all they are going through. Okay, in the interim, I I, I don't know, Mr. Olumide, if your organization has done and uh, maybe even if this preliminary uh, assessment, what's the cost of all these uh, issues, both uh, you know of the uh, fuel, uh, you know, jet A one um, crisis to the airlines, and also the cost of the uh, you know continuous cancellation and uh, flight disruption. To the passengers in the country, do you have any estimate? Um, no, 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 not at the moment, uh, because uh, I don't want to ban. I don't, I don't want to ban any figure around. Uh, but uh, for the truth is, we you, you, you are all here. We, we talked during the COVID period. We are recovering from the COVID period. The passengers are just coming out, and then boom, we are back to another, other things now caused by the aviation fuel scarcity, uh, the, uh, the filling naira. And then um, also, the, it's not only the domestic market now. Now we have the international market because we have not been able to remit uh, about the four hundred and fifty million dollars uh, owed the foreign airlines. And um, some some of those airlines have reacted by jacking up their fare. Um, they they don't want to use the, they don't they don't, want, they don't use the official rate anymore. Calculate they are not using the black market rates. So they want to, they are not taking the risk of putting their money in. The, um, uh, back uh, to the central bank, so that has jacked up international affairs, and uh, that made, made it uh, a bit difficult for families to go on vacation this year. So, we 
we, if we look at that, well, the number of people that get discouraged from traveling and the, can and the cancellation of flights and then the grounding of these two airlines, we will be roughly looking about um, maybe close to about $200 million. All right. Potentially that has been lost when, when you add all the value chain. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Olumide Ohunayo, for uh, joining us on this discussion this morning. Uh, that was Secretary Aviation Roundtable. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, and with this, we've come to the end of a Daybreak on Trust TV. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, same station. I'm Dashan Hussein Usman. Thank you very much for staying with us throughout the show this morning. I am Abdulaziz Abdulaziz. See you tomorrow.